The Grand Valley State Laker baseball team made its 14th consecutive appearance in the NCAA Regional Tournament last weekend. This is the second longest streak in Division II. The Lakers dominated the GLIAC tournament the previous week, scoring 46 runs while sweeping four straight games. This year's Midwest Regional was held at the beautiful facilities of Lindenwood University, just west of St. Louis. The field is named after Cardinal legendary player Lou Brock. Grand Valley came in as a number two seed and played the first game of the tournament against the Drury Panthers, who had won the GLVC tournament. Laker East Patrick Kelly, who was earlier named second team all region, set the Panthers down in order in the first inning. But the ball bounced Drury's way in the second. The Panthers got a hit just past Kevin Zach's outstretched glove. Kelly walked the next batter. The bunt was waved off, but the runners advanced anyways on the ground out to Kelly. A seen-eyed single put the first run on the board, and the second run came in on an infield ground out. In the bottom half, Jamie Potts reached first on an error, was moved around, and later scored on Jason Rebecki's ground out to first. On a 3-2 pitch, with two outs in the fourth, the Panthers' left-handed hitting Wilmas shot one down the left field line to score rafter. This gave Drury a 3-1 lead. Drury would add two in the seventh and eighth innings, and an additional run in the ninth. The Lakers had a three-run eighth inning behind RBI singles from GLIAC Tournament MVP Matt Williams and Jason Rebecki, but it wasn't enough as Drury took Game 1 9-4. The Lakers would face conference rivals Ashland on Friday. In the GLIAC tournament, they beat Ashland 18-5 in the semifinals and 15-6 in the finals. The Eagles would start Art Warren, who Grand Valley touched up for eight runs in four and two-thirds innings in the GLIAC semi. It looked like more of the same as the first two batters walked for the Lakers. But the Eagles got a big double play off the bat of Kevin Zack. Jamie Potts then walked, but a ground out ended the inning as the Lakers were not able to capitalize on three free passes. Ashland got a run off starter Zach Anderson in the first inning with an opposite field double by Blake Belma. The Eagles scored two in the third when big Mackenzie Haas snuck one through the middle and Blake Belma hit a liner to right just deep enough to score the run. The Lakers were then silenced to just two hits over the next three innings. Ashland added a run in the seventh. Senior second baseman Jesse Abel broke up the shutout in the ninth with a base hit up the middle, but the Lakers season ended when Kevin Zack flew out to right. Ashland fought its way back to the finals before losing to Truman State. It was a disappointing end for the Lakers' senior-laden team who came into the NCAAs with high hopes after an impressive performance in the conference tournament. The Lakers accomplished a lot in 2015. They won the North Division title and captured the 10th GLIAC Tournament Championship. Seniors Kevin Zack and Jamie Potts were named to the Midwest Regional First Team, while sophomore Matt Williams and junior Patrick Kelly received second team honors. Grand Valley finishes the year with a 34-18 record, eager to prove once again in 2016 that they are one of the top programs in Division II.